probably the most amazing fact about Catholicism in Korea and the work of the martyrs that we celebrate today is that usually when missionaries come to a particular country with the Catholic faith, it's priests, sisters, brothers, but in the case of Korea, it was lay people. In the early 1800s, noblemen traveled to Japan and China, and they saw Catholicism being practiced there, and were so impressed by it that it was they who took the faith back to Korea. And in just 12 years, when the first Catholic priest arrived in Korea, he found 4,000 Catholics there already waiting for him. Which is not to say that it was easy, because there was a couple things about the Catholic faith that made it difficult to thrive in Korean culture. One of which was, Catholics believe that we're all equal children of God. And that didn't fit into the hierarchy of slaves and common people and educated people that the Confucian philosophy taught. And the second thing was that it was illegal to travel outside the country to engage with foreigners. We honor the Korean martyrs, the eight to 10,000 of them who died for their faith, and especially the 103 who are celebrated today. And in a way, I think this really ties into our gospel because you don't keep the faith alive by just conforming and fitting in. What Jesus calls out in the gospel today is the pressures of the people of his generation, which we probably still feel today, to fit into people's expectations of what we need to be like. We played the flute for you, but you did not dance. We sang a dirge, but you did not weep. John the Baptist came, you said, he is possessed by a demon. The Son of Man came eating and drinking, you said, he is a glutton and a drunkard people will try and pressure us to conform to how they think we need to be. But the way that these martyrs of Korea kept their faith alive was by staying true to what Jesus was calling them to do, calling them to be. And a great way to honor them would be for us to live our faith as vibrantly as Jesus would have us live it, and not to conform to our society.